I have decided to start Vlogmas. I know, I'm nearly two weeks late. Oh, hello there, and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, I've got my tea this time, so that's good. I've already tried to start this without both my tea and my microphone, which is not, not gonna work. Um, so, take three, here we go. Um, welcome to my kitchen and the exciting project that is going to be Allotment Vlogmas 2020. Ta-da! Um, I know what you're thinking, like, Bryony, it's already halfway through December, you've missed two weeks. I know, okay, <laughs> I know. I only had the idea that I could do this a couple of days ago and then I thought like, why, why am I not doing that? That's so fun. I have so many ideas of really great things that I could do. And I thought, you know what? So what that I've missed two weeks. Let's get started and go ahead and do it now. And we'll just have fun from now on, okay? <laughs> um, so there we go. Um, I put a sticker up on Instagram a couple of days ago asking for some ideas. Well, firstly, I asked if you guys thought you would watch it and uh, I got the overwhelming response that yes, you would. So thank you. Um, and we're going to go for it. And secondly, I asked, like, have you got any suggestions for the sorts of things that you'd want to see? And um, there were so many good ones and uh, I'm going to try and do all of them. <laughs> Except the person who said the pantomime, OK? And the person who said Excel Christmas spreadsheets. Like, no, no, we're not doing any of that. Um, but, but all the sensible suggestions, um, yes, I'm going to do. Um, you might have noticed that at the moment I'm not at my allotment, um, and I have called this Allotment Vlogmas 2020. Um, that is because it is raining a hecking lot outside right now, and outside is, you know, absolutely disgusting. Um, so I can't go to my allotment today, but I have got a lot of ideas for things that I can do there on days when it's not raining and also um, plenty of things that I can do from my greenhouse. Um, so one of the suggestions I got like multiple times um, was can I go over what my plans for 2021 are and absolutely yes I can, I would love to do that. Um, so I'm probably going to spend some time sat in my greenhouse which I'm hoping to kind of decorate, you'll see why in a second. Um, and talk about my plans and probably do a few seed hauls and I've got a lot of like Christmas baking that was another really common suggestion um, lots of Christmas baking like I'm, I'm all about the cookies <laughs> um, and you know cheese and bread and all the great things so that's all coming up um, but today's video <laughs> is going to be oranges okay um, so I mentioned Christmas decorations. I don't really have a lot and I don't really want to venture out into the, you know, coronavirus wasteland that is the rest of the world. So I thought I would make some. So I've got some oranges and what we're going to do today is slice them up and dry them and make them into decorations. I, I'm sure you can picture the thing like a, like a, like an orange with a ribbon through it. Um, and maybe a couple of pomanders, which is where you get the whole orange and then you stud it with cloves and tie ribbons around it and they, look pretty and smell nice. Um, so I thought that was a great place to start. Um, and so if you'd like to join me for that, and I really hope you do, let's get started. Um, so here we are, I've got my oranges. I've actually got six, but I'm planning to do a couple of different things with them. So um, what you wanna do is get yourself some oranges and then we'll get started. Okay, so these are actually stupidly easy to make. So literally all you need is a bunch of your oranges. <laughs> I dropped those the first time I tried to do that shot. Um, a chopping board and quite a sharp knife. Um, and either your oven and a tray, and you'll use the oven set to like a low setting over a long time, or what I'm going to use, which is a food dehydrator. So um, this is my food dehydrator. I've come over to the table because sadly I don't have an Instagram worthy kitchen. <laughs> I'd love to have one of those where you've got like a kitchen island in the middle and I can easily put the camera on the other side of it and I don't have to balance it on top of my hob. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna be using my food dryer and this I think came from Lakeland. Um, it's not expensive, um, but I did already have it. I wouldn't advise like going out to buy one of these 
unless you intend to do a lot of drying produce in future, which is fun, by the way, um, if you've never tried it. Um, this is essentially, if you don't know how they work, it's basically something that you just plug into the mains and turn it on and it has a little fan and it produces heat and it safely dries food over a period of a few hours. Um, it's lots of these, hi, um, that you stack up. And so literally all I'm going to do is slice my oranges, put them in these trays and switch this bad boy on. And um, after a couple of hours, I will have beautiful dried orange slices. Um, one thing I would say to do, this is my like top tip. If you do have one of these, um, make sure to spray the tray with something like um, like a, like a non-stick cooking spray before you put the fruit on. Otherwise what you'll find is that um, you'll end up with a lot of trays with like oranges stuck to them, um, which wouldn't make such pretty decorations. So um, there we are. That's what I'm gonna be using. If you don't have one, no problem. You can, <laughs> you can do exactly the same thing in your oven. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so now that I have set my orange slices drying, and if you can hear a very loud whirring noise in the background, that's what that is. Um, I'm gonna make a couple of pomanders. Now I've got two oranges left. Um, so I have um, pulled out two different kinds of ribbon. I've got the classic red, um, because that's what most people use to do this. But I found this in my little stash, um, which I don't know if you're gonna be able to see because my camera is absolutely terrible at focusing. Um, but it's white with gold bees on it, which I love anything that's got bees on it, let's be honest. So um, I've got that, I've got some cloves, um, and I've got some pins and a pin cushion just in case I need to use them, but I'm gonna hope that I don't. Um, so literally with this, all you do is you get your orange and you get your ribbon. Um, this is awesome, by the way. I feel like I'm having a real blue pizza moment. I'm really loving it. But anyway, um, find the center point and put that on the bottom of your orange and wrap it round like so. And then exactly like you do when you're making a present, you just want to cross it over at the bottom, right over the center point. Like so and then just bring it around to the top. Um, and you wanna do that as tight as you can because you don't want the orange to fall out. Um, you can put a few pins in the side if you're a bit worried that it's going to. Um, but I'm pretty happy that I've got mine fairly tight. And then you just tie a knot in the top. Um, so nothing fancy. I was never in the scouts or anything. So I've just got I think is the standard shoe double knot going on here. So there's one. And there's number two. There we are. And what you should end up with is basically an orange hanging on a ribbon, but then you get Straighten that up a little bit. 
like I said, if the ribbon is moving around a little bit too much for you at this point, you can pin it down. Um, then you get your cloves and you basically put as many of these into the orange as you like. Um, and they look best if you get them really close together but not touching. Um, and you can do any design that you want. You can do a uh, line. Uh, <laughs> classic. Hey buddy! Don't think you're gonna like to eat those. Um, anyway. All right, see you then. See you then, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Okay, um, you can do a line down the side that matches the ribbon. You can draw shapes, you can write your initials, um, whatever takes your fancy. I think I'm gonna go traditional with this one and just do a line the, down the edges that matches where the ribbon's going. And I think I am going to pin that because it's it's moving around a little bit too much for me. No. Great. Um, so I'm going to get my clothes and do my design. If you're very arty, you could draw a line down the side um, before you begin, just so that you make sure that you get everything in a straight line. I am not a huge fan of getting everything in straight lines anyway. Um, if you've ever seen my allotment, you'll know that because um, nothing is quite perpendicular, but that's fine. I think there is such a thing as too straight. Um, yeah, so just putting the clothes in and going down in a line and like I said, get them close together, but not touching if you want them to look their best. And you might find that when you do this, a little bit of juice leaks out of the orange. That's okay. <laughs> the worst thing that's going to happen is that you'll get a little sticky. Um, yeah, but it smells great. Oranges and cloves. Um, if you can hear that noise, that's my irritating dog pulling shoes off of my shoe rack. I have no idea why. She's just removed my converse for no good reason. So yeah, this is a fun activity to do if you're an adult like me, <laughs> or if you've got young kids, this is like the perfect thing to entertain them for an afternoon. I'm sure their little fingers would be much better at getting the clothes in the orange than mine are, but there we are. Um, so yeah, I hope allotment vlogmas turns out to be okay. I've never really done a lot of vlogging before and I've got quite a lot of ideas that are kind of ambitious and something that I'm uh, well known for is making plans that are a little bit too ambitious basically. So biting off more than I can chew um, and I'm slightly worried <laughs> that I may have done that here. But um, we'll see, I'll give it a good go and um, if I miss a day here and there, um, I'm sorry in advance. But I've got some good ideas coming up. So I've got um, this video on oranges today and then I've got um, a lovely Christmas bread recipe um, where it ends up looking a bit like a Christmas tree and it's kind of a tear and share, um, which I'm hoping to do. And another Blue Peter-esque one really. So, um, uh, what's it called? You know where you make like suet fables for birds? Um, it's like super important this time of year, especially when it gets cold, to keep feeding the wildlife in the garden. So I thought I'd do making your own suet fat balls. And um, the standard allotment tour, um, that will probably come towards the end of the month. Um, uh, so the December plot tour and um, yeah, a couple of things with like decorating. I haven't actually got my tree yet, so I'm hoping to do that on Monday. Um, head to my favourite local garden centre and get a tree um, and then do all that decorating. I've done some decorating in the house um, but by no means everything. Um, so yeah, plenty more to come. This is really therapeutic, I'm really enjoying doing this. <laughs> um, 
which is good because I've got quite a lot more of it left to do. Um, there we are, one more I think in here. There we go. So that's what I've got so far. I've got a ribbon and then a clove line and then a ribbon and then more cloves. Um, I think for this one that's what I'm going to do on the remaining two quarters. Um, it smells amazing. Um, I guess there's no getting away from orange smells in my house now. <laughs> yeah, but then it will end up um, with this ribbon and you can you can hang it somewhere like maybe off of my cupboard. It could be quite nice to have this in the kitchen I think. Um, get a few more of those out. So yeah, um, so let me know in the comments if you give this a go. Like, I'm having a lot of fun right now. It's really therapeutic. It's smelling really good. It's making me feel really Christmassy. So definitely think about giving it a go, especially a bit if you're a bit like me and you don't really fancy going out to the shops while this coronavirus thing is going on. It was pretty easy just to get a couple of oranges with my local shopping and make a little decoration. Um, yeah, and if you have any other ideas for uh, other topics that I could cover, like it's by no means closed, um, so please, please, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you'd like me to do. And that doesn't apply just for Vlogmas actually. Um, if there's anything that you want to see on the channel, then please tell me because you guys have really good ideas, often much better ideas than I have. <laughs> And I'd love to do some more of them. Um, so there we are. Oh, there we are, another visitor. Never a dull moment in my house. Nearly done on my third quarter. Just one more in there. Actually, I'll do one more after that. We go three quarters done and the cat's back <laughs> all right one more to go and then I think for the second one I might just do it as a time lapse because I absolutely love doing those <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed um, something I think would be really really great to do is like a proper time lapse I haven't figured out how to do this yet but um, almost like showing the allotment across the whole year. I guess I need to do that as like a series of photographs, maybe like take one a day or something um, because it changes like so much. Like at the moment it's very brown and gray. There's not a lot there. Um, and as soon as spring comes around and you start to see the first bit of color, um, usually on my allotment that's pink because I planted a few um, tulips. I don't know if you've seen it, but I've got two big troughs of tulips either side of an archway and they're pretty much always the first color that comes through and um, I just find, I don't know if you're the same, but I find winter it gets so bland and so brown and so gray and dull all the time and then I don't realize it but then when the spring comes around and you see that first bit of color it's like something in me just gets lifted, you know, like it's, it's I don't realize at the time how bad it is but I do miss the color um, and then of course the hedges start filling out and other things come in and then then the next few months are usually a blur aren't they because um again with my habit of like over promising things I usually try to sow far too many seeds and then it's just a blur of like trying to keep up with potting and repotting and planting out and um yeah but it's a wonderful time of year I do love the spring um and there's never a dull moment for a gardener um, so, final clove going in. Oh, doesn't want to. Come on. There we go. Commander number one. I can't get over how nice it smells. <laughs> I love it. Right, I'm going to crack on with number two and I'll do this as a time lapse because nobody needs to hear me chatting on any more than I already have.
I'm back. My camera actually died in the middle of me filming that because I did not charge the battery before today. Nice work, Bryony. And I also only have one, which is something I think I need to remedy because that's not the first time that's happened and I've had to wait ages for it to charge. Um, so minor technical difficulties aside, I finished these off camera um, largely because I had to. Um, this one you already saw. Uh, I'm still pretty proud of it though. It's like a like a super traditional design. And then this one, um, I did my initial um, and to match the bee ribbons. I actually did have a go at attempting to draw a bee in cloves. And uh, my advice to you is just do not attempt that. <laughs> That's a bumblebee folks, if you can't tell. Um, but overall, I'm very, very happy with my Blue Peter moment. I think what I'm going to do is to hang one of these off of the handles of my cupboards um, because they smell incredible. They smell so good. And I, I would love my kitchen to smell like that for the rest of the season. So um, that's the plan for those. And I think what I'm gonna do is um, call it a day there and then uh, spend the rest of my day editing because I need to give myself time to do that. Um, I am the world's slowest editor at the moment. Um, so if anyone has any tips or any great shortcuts for how to do that faster, then please let me know. Please put that in the comments below. Um, and other than that, I think I'm going to go and cook my dinner. Um, I've got Nigella's chicken in a pot with lemon and orzo today, which is one of my absolute favorite meals. I absolutely love it. Um, and I might even put the link to that in the description because I basically force it on everybody that I ever speak to because I love it that much. Um, so yes, that's my day. Dinner, editing, hot chocolate and snuggling on the sofa I should think. So um, that's it for now and I hope you enjoyed this and I really hope you have a go at doing this because it's so much fun. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. <laughs> I better not drop one, they'd get really bruised. Hello everyone! I forgot my tea. Like, a whole bunch of oranges. Whoop, don't drop one. <laughs> hey, you gonna wave? You gonna wave for the people on YouTube? Say, hi! <laughs> I'm thinking of getting her some kind of, like, dog antlers or something. Outfit. Oh. So yeah, any suggestions of what you want to see dr Sky dressed as would be great. Christmas pudding? Can you imagine a Christmas pudding? Do you want to be a Christmas pudding? Do you? <laughs> Not detecting much enthusiasm for that idea. But okay, I'll be Santa and you can be my elf, alright? Hmm? Mm. Okay, bye!